Hello, I'm Nelson Williams for GameOgre.com. There's a trend in free-to-play MMOs right now of going back to basics, which in less charitable language means ripping off the face of another, more popular game and wearing it like a dripping Halloween mask. The club-swinging quest mobs at GameOgre.com sent me to check out one such MMORPG, Elegium, the Chosen One. Elegium is a fantasy MMORPG that goes back to an even more basic basics, into the Cyclopedian Ages when your character class determined your race and appearance. If there is any way to customize your character's looks, I didn't see it. The rest of Elegium is sort of a cross between Eastern fantasy tropes and the everything else of World of Warcraft. Admittedly, if you're planning to build a fantasy MMORPG, copying the design of the most popular game in the history of human achievement isn't a bad idea, but it does help to bring something else to the table. What Elegium brings is a time machine, back to the early 2000s when monsters covered the land in a spiky, fangy carpet and you needed to grind out everything forever. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. In an early quest, I had to raise one of my character's combat skills from 2 to 3. That meant using the skill, which is fine, but it also meant using the skill over 150 times, which left me depopulating a small midwestern town just to get a number to turn over. Oh, and the skill used mana, a limited and finite resource that ran out so I'd have to chug potions or wait for a recharge before heading back to the skill apocalypse. That's not to say Elegium doesn't have its strong points. Your character's appearance might be fixed, but it's a good look. Sculpted in that Final Fantasy, not entirely anime way that manages to make completely grown-up characters seem young enough to make Peter Pan nervous. The designers threw a lot of detail into the armor and costumes of your character, including a fashion slot for fun and silly get-ups like the pirate costume you come across early in your adventures. The graphics around the world are also good, with sweeping vistas, massive stone statues, crumbling bridges, and windswept mountain passes. While cruising around, I got caught in a sandstorm which was as dark and howling as the real thing. The localization is also pretty good. While the dialogue is stiff, it's also clear and easy to understand, which is a good bit better than many import MMOs. The classes in Elegium are limited, there being the Panda Monk, the Human Warrior, the Elf Hunter, Vera Druid, Virids being a sort of green plant person, and human mages. While there aren't so many classes to choose from, they do play differently, with the mages' ranged obliteration to the druid's monster pets, and back to the warriors' thumpy face stomping with the most ridiculous weapons ever. Early in their careers, each class is given a choice of specialization, shaping the powers and abilities they pick up from then on. For example, the warrior class must choose between going down the ironclad tanking route or the scream-and-leap head-bashing frenzy of the DPS tree. While you have the tools for a good fight, what you fight is something entirely else. The monsters in Elegium aren't spread out, engaged in their own little stories and lives. Instead, they're clustered together in a swarming monster party that begins the moment you set foot outside the safe zone. It's a carpet of monsters, crammed into every space, filling every crevice, and spilling out over the sides. Claws, fangs, and kindness, I don't know what, poke out in every direction. It's entirely possible to roll out into the monster grounds, claim a plot of land for the Queen of Spain, and finish up your quest by defending the motherland from all invaders. The whole thing reminds me of those custom servers players set up, where the town and merchants and trainers are all ten steps that way, and the grind monsters are all set up ten steps the other way in a big conga line of XP. Elegium, the Chosen One, is a good example of an import MMORPG, better than some I've seen. The graphics are nice, the character design, while static, is solid enough, and the localization works. If you're into bouncing around an MMO full of pretty fantasy dolls where you don't have to worry about things like skill or challenge, then Elegium is your game. If you're looking for deep world building and complex mechanics to master, eh, not so much. Still. There's one thing about Elegium that everyone can agree on, casual or hardcore player alike. This here is the creepiest damn chicken ever.